applied physics enables the next technological leap. Jianwei Pan, University of Science and Technology of China. On November the 9th, 1989, I was a student at the University of Science and Technology of China. So, uh, good afternoon, everyone. I took 10-hour flight from China to Berlin, but I was only give 10, 15 minutes to talk. It's a little bit ridiculous, but I will try my best to finish. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, and um, uh, a paleobiology tell us about 100,000 years ago, Neanderthalian and Homo sapien have coexisted in Europe for some time. And Neanderthalian uh, was stronger than Homo sapien, and it even have larger brain than modern human. But why did Homo sapien win the evolution battle and become our ancestor. One of the reasons is because Homo sapien and create a proto symbol and language by which one can communicate effectively and form a cooperate a group and a society. So therefore, in some sense, information exchange is important a factor in human evolution. And in information exchange, private protection is an important topic. And only with private protection can people have the right to think, have the freedom to think, read, write, and talk. And it's fair to say and the human civilization cannot exist and develop without the private protection. So on the other hand, the social progress makes information exchange more efficient. So therefore, as a result, the information exchange has been and will continue to be accompanied by the whole human evolution and the social development. So there are two everlasting open questions. So we always want to seek to find the answer. So how to make information exchange more efficient and how to protect privacy. So in, in information science, the answer will be the computing power and information security. So actually, to achieve secure information transfer has been the dream of human beings since ancient time. And the Spartan in 400 BC has used the so-called uh, cipher method, the so-called CITEL, to achieve a secure information transfer, and later Julius Caesar also invent the shift cipher around 50 BC. However, all these ancient encryption and encryption method can be corrected by analyzing the frequency of occurrence of a letter. So historically, we know every advance in classic cryptography has been defeated by advance in hacking. And during the Second World War, uh, uh, Alan Turing and, and successfully cracked the famous Enigma machine. And in modern cryptography, the widely used public key RSA system, and for example, RSA 512 was cracked in 1999, and RSA 768 was cracked in 2009. And even RSA 1024 has been sought unsafe. So therefore, and because of the factor or the classical encryption method that depend on computational complexity can be corrected. So as has long been suspected, human ingenuity cannot conquer a cipher which human ingenuity cannot resolve. So on the other hand, and, uh, and we still have uh, very uh, unlimited computing power at the present the world total computing power is insufficient to search for a target in two to the power of eight uh, database within a year. And one of the major technology limits is due to the fact that 
So Moisture law that predict the transistor density double every 18 months has come to an end. This is because the size of the transistor will soon reach the atomic scale, so that uh, the uh, electron time effect will appear and the definition of the circuit 0 and 1 cannot be well defined anymore. So fortunately, quantum mechanics after one century development comes to the solution for the problem we just mentioned. And uh, uh, let me now briefly introduce the consumption of quantum superposition. As we all know, in our everyday life, a cat can only either be alive or dead state. However, according to the quantum superposition principle, for a cat in the quantum world can even be in the coherent superposition of alive and dead state. When we apply for the quantum superposition principle to multi-party system, we are leads to the consumption of quantum entanglement. For example, for two cats in the quantum world, which can even be in the coherent position of alive, alive, and dead, dead state. If we perform a measurement onto one of the two cats, if it's found to be in alive state, then the other cat will be automatically collapsed into the corresponding alive state. And for this phenomenon, Einstein called it spooky action at a distance. So physically, any two-level quantum system can be used as a realization of qubit. For example, we can explore the two photons as a two position state of single photon to encode one bit of information. Then, for the system consisting of two photons, they can be in one of the following four Bell state, the so-called maximum entangled state. In 1935, Einstein, Podolsky, and Lawson published a famous paper by questioning the completeness of quantum mechanics because its theory supporting spooky action at a distance. Almost 29 years later, John Bell proposed an inequality by constructing an observable from the measurement result of two particles, two entangled particles, and we can perform the test of quantum non-locality. According to Einstein's local reason, so the value should be less than two. But according to quantum mechanics, the maximum value of this quantity can be as large as two square root of two. So in the past uh, decades, many wonderful experiments have been performed by the pioneers. For example, Alan Aspect, he is also in the audience. And all the experiment results already confirm quantum mechanics is correct, while still with some loophole need to be addressed in the future. Although uh, the test of spook action has not yet come to a final end. However, the quantum technology developed by scientists already allow coherent manipulation of quantum system. This consequently leads to the emerging quantum information technology. For example, uh, with the help of quantum communication, we can achieve secure uh, information transfer, and the quantum computation can significantly uh, um, enhance the computing power. So for example, uh, quantum key distribution is one of the best known uh, phenomenon uh, and protocol uh, in quantum communication protocol. For example, with the help of BB84 protocol, we can perform single photon key distribution. So with the help of the shared, uh, shared secret key and one-time pad encryption, we can achieve unconditional secure information transfer. Moreover, I mean, teleportation is another interesting application of quantum communication. So, which is a scheme we can transfer quantum information from one particle to another without sending the particle itself. This is very much similar to the way where we achieve Star Trek in scientific fiction. Although it's far away and from teleporting a human being, but we can already teleport simple quantum state within a a network. So the first experimental demonstration of QKD was reported in 1992 on the table over a distance of 32 centimeters. By 2005, so the distance has been extended to 100 kilometers by several groups over the world. However, due to imperfection of the realistic quantum device and uh, all the form experiments 
has two serious security drawbacks. Therefore, those de demonstrations has no practical application. So in 2005, and uh, uh, Xiang Bing Wang and Hao Kuan Lu, they proposed the so-called decore state QKD method by which we can solve the security loophole caused by the non-idea single photon source. Moreover, with the help of MDI QKD method, we can solve the problem caused by the non-idea single photon detector. So in 2007 and 2016, several independent groups, including us, managed to achieve measurement device independent QKD on the distance of a few hundred kilometers. So with all this technology, and we, in the, past, in the past years, we managed to establish a large-scale metropolitan content network with applications uh, such as bank transaction and so on. So what is the future problem in large-scale content communication? So up to now, the longest distance of MDI is 400 kilometers. The longest distance of content teleportation is limited on the order of 100 kilometers. So due to the inevitable photon loss in the fiber or in the content channel, so it's very difficult to extend the ground content communication over longer distance. For example, in order to perform 1,000 kilometer commercial fiber communication, even with a perfect 10 gigahertz single photon source and idea detector, only 0.3 photon can be transferred on average percentually, so which is of no use for long distance corner communication. So one of the promising solutions is to explore satellite in free space, because the satellite ground connection channel is much more efficient, has much reduced photon loss, because of the effective thickness of allosphere is only about 10 kilometers. And also, the photon in outer space has almost no photon loss and no turbulence. So in the, in the past decades, we have been busy with working on the te ground test of satellite-based uh, corner communication. In 2004, we first performed experiments for in-time distribution over 13 kilometers, demonstrating the effective thickness of allosphere can be overcome. And in 2012, we perform uh, experiments on uh, in-time distribution on corner teleportation over 100 kilometers. We demonstrate the visibility of corner communication in the high-loss satellite ground channel, and so on. So after achieving all this technology, we can already perform uh, satellite ground corner communication in low orbital. So in this technology, we achieve arch-high energy resolution by which we can detect a single match fire light at the moon, and also we achieve arch high spatial resolution by which we can read clearly on Earth the light, so the license plate floating in the Jupiter uh, orbit. With all this technology, after 12 years effort, so we launched on 16 August last year the first quantum satellite in China. So the missile satellite has three missions. So the first one is to perform uh, a, a space to ground QKD. So in this experiment, we successfully managed to achieve a one kilohertz uh, um, uh, and bit rate and on the order of 1,000 kilometers, which is 20 order of magnitude higher using telecom fiber. And also, we try to perform quantum time distribution over 1,200 kilometers. And for the for the first time, perform the space test of spook action at Ditton under strict Einstein locality condition. And also, we meant to perform the ground to satellite corner teleportation. So very recently, using satellite as a trusted for relay, we already performed a corner key distribution between Beijing and Vienna. So collaboration with Germany and, and Italy and all other are undergoing. So, uh, in the final, I would like to mention several future <laughs> prospects. And the technology we develop can also use uh, for quantum optic experiment, which is in the part time inaccessible on the ground. For example, we can invest the possibility to perform tests of quantum gravity 
and te test of gravitation induced the correlation of entanglement. Moreover, we can also try to use this method to close the freedom of choice and collapse the locality loophole in all previous bell experiments. So in order to conclude and my talk, I would like to show you three take home message. So first of all, I would like to uh, achieve a global quantum communication infrastructure by which a safe a quantum internet should be possible. And also we would like to use the China moon uh, and a future moon landing project to perform bio tests involve human free consciousness. And also we want to try the possibility to perform tests of gravity uh, and uh, general relativity. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.